What is up guys? Today is the two year anniversary of the Life Awesome show. Two years, that's actually a pretty long time. I didn't think the show would actually go that far, but it did. It's all because of you guys. Anyway, so today we are going to go behind the scenes of the Life Awesome show. Talk about each season, each character, story, and all that good shit. We're going to talk about a lot of things about the Life Awesome show. And what it's what it's been through. So, without further ado, let's get started. So first off, let's talk about the channel. Now the channel has been through some changes too. It was first called The Life of Titan. The Life of Titan. And the reason why it was called that because that was the series' original name. It was supposed to be called The Life of Titan. And Titan was my name I was gonna use in that series. Titan. But I changed that because every time I looked up on a search button, I just came up Titan from the anime series. So I had to change it so that way it was like I wanted to like invent a title that I made by myself, an original title, and something that people can look up easily. The Jackass Show is just the channel's name, but it's not actually the cha the, the I'm sorry, the series name. But people sometimes will call the series the Jackass Show, or sometimes they'll call it. The Life of Awesome show, or the Life of Awesomeness show, doesn't matter. Either way, it works. But the channel, the Jackass show, is just the name of the channel, not the series. But you may call it whatever you like. Also, fun fact: these three episodes were recorded before episode one and episode two. So these were kind of like the first episodes. And if you pay attention between season one and these three episodes, you notice kind of that I sound younger. And I look younger. I'm sorry. I look younger. But it's kind of hard to tell. But if you pay very close attention, you will get what I'm saying. And you will see that I'm younger in these three episodes. But in these two episodes, I'm more older. So, the original idea for the series that I had. The idea. If I said it wrong. But the original idea that I had for the series was. It was going to be about me and Scott Malkinson. Which he is a very main character of my series. And we don't see him much anymore because he's busy and I'm not living close to him anymore. But before then, he was a very big character and he appeared almost in every episode I made. We call him Scott Malkinson because people actually ask me why I call him Scott Malkinson. His real name is Parker, but we call him Scott Malkinson because we were coming up with a nickname for him. And I was watching South Park one day and there's this kid named Scott Malkinson who's on South Park. He has diabetes and I thought... That'd be kind of a fun name, name Parker. So, from that day forward, I've been calling him Scott Malkinson for like four years now. And I never once call him Parker. I call him Parker sometimes still, but I mostly call him Scott Malkinson. Another reason why the idea that the series was supposed to be about me and Scott Malkinson changed was because I wanted to like make the show more about my life instead of having two characters on screen like yes it's not it's not a bad idea but i thought it'd be more interesting to see what's my life like and not always have like two characters on the screen all at the same time like yes he's a very lovable and memorable character but i want to make changes to where i'm the main character and it's just me and my life but he's still on the show as of today and nothing really has changed now season two have more episodes in it and some very good ones too, like, uh, hang on. These three were focusing on me and Scott Malkinson walking on an icy lake, which is, was, was, I'm sorry, a frozen lake, which was just a lake that was frozen, and we walked right in the middle of the lake, and we didn't fall, we were okay, but some people got pissed at us, so, yeah. This one is kind of funny, because Scott Malkinson was playing a game, and he got pissed off, because it wasn't working. This one is my absolute favorite. Let's check it out real quick. As you guys can see, there's a snake on the screen. And this episode was season 2 finale called Snake Invasion. And this episode, I caught so many bull snakes. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, we were just in the right moment at the right time. And I guess it was either breeding season or they were just out there because it was the summer and it was a warm out. But we caught, or well, I caught... Scott Mogulson didn't want anything to do with the snakes, but I caught so many bull snakes. Look at that. There's two bull snakes in my hand. 
never have once ever caught in two snakes that was in the wild in my hand. I never caught two wild snakes in my hand. So that was really, really amazing. There was a lot of bull snakes over there. And yes, there were some aggressive ones too. But I didn't get close to them where I could, I could get bit. Though. I was careful about it. I made sure I, was, I, was, I wasn't doing anything stupid. But yeah, this episode was really my favorite. Like, they were everywhere. They were like all over the place. Alright, so we want to talk about Season 3 real quick. Season 3 only had like 7 episodes in it. But what's different about Season 3 from the rest of the seasons, well, from Season 1 and Season 2 really, is that we made kind of like a story for the first time. And the story was that these monsters got out somehow. Like, originally we had an episode that showed how the monsters came on the planet and on the Earth. But that episode was scrapped. Because I thought it was like a little too immature, I would say that. So, if you watch season 3, you've noticed that random monsters started appearing out of nowhere. But there's no explanation. But it's alright. And, yeah. Season 3, like it started out with an episode called Bad Camera. And I'm going to show you this real quick. If you watch this episode, you notice that the camera quality is different and I'm using a different camera. That, that was because my phone was lost and I had to use a different camera to tape some shit. But I found it. I found it. And yeah. This episode wasn't really anything much. Parker went inside King, I mean, sorry, Kmart with his bike and he got kicked out. So nothing special. But yeah, this, this season 3 had more of like a story type to it. Involve means Scott Milkson basically fighting off monsters, really. And then the end of the apocalypse was the season finale and really ended me creating some kind of penny that was like in, a, in an explosive bomb. And I thrown it in a cave, which where the monsters did come out of. And yeah, that's how season three ended. So season three was the start of the new story. And like a story arc, like it was the start of a story arc, I would say that. And a lot of things changed, and this was kind of the beginning of a change where the series was going to take place around me, and not me and Scott Melkis anymore. Alright guys, we are on season 4 right now. Now this season was different from season 2 and season 1, because it was a start of a new story arc as well, but also... They introduced a very new character that I made up and is actually the only fictional character in the whole entire series. And that is Evil Cheta. Now, let's talk about this episode a little bit. I was thinking for a while and I thought maybe making a fictional character and I was watching Rick and Morty and how there's an evil Morty and a good Morty and I thought I could do that as well with my series, but except make Evil Cheta. And yeah, so basically I was kind of, bas no sorry, basically Rick and Morty, I was influenced by Rick and Morty to make my very own evil clone. And the idea came from Rick and Morty, but I didn't steal the idea, but I just was influenced by it. But obviously you can see some resemblance of even more like him or an eye patch and him acting kind of, you know, smart and, you know, mature, kind of. This scene was kind of hard to do. Like, hang on, let me pause right here. This scene was kind of hard to do. Like, really? I had to, like, change to my shorts. And the shirt was okay because underneath that jacket I was wearing the same shirt. But I had to change to my shorts and I had to, like, sit and, like, talk to the guy and make sure I wasn't talking over him. And... It's very unnoticeable. You can't really see like a line or anything like that though. I'm not going to say it, but it looks very realistic. And this is probably one of the best scenes I have done. Really like, with him talking with his evil twin. Evil Cheta. And twin. I'm saying twin. But here's the thing. Um, evil Cheta is just another version of me from the universe. Like it was said in one episode that was basically a prequel of the episode. Where it's shown that Evil Cheta killed Scott Malkison in his universe. And he came to my universe. 
and I found him and I brought him back to life, which was shown at the beginning of this episode. So really, he's not my brother, he's not my twin, but he's just another version of me from the dimension. But in recent episodes, I have been calling him my twin and my brother, because the character Cheta, aka me, accepted, I'm sorry, accepted him as my brother, my twin. So, yeah. But this episode was very, very, like, probably one of the best episodes people liked. And it was very well done, very well made, the music was great. The story was great, and the quality was great. This episode, this episode has like 153 reviews, and every time someone comes up to me about this episode, they always say that it was the great episode. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking too fast. They always say that it was the best episode they've seen, and that the episode was very, very good and well done. And I would say so too. This was actually one of my best episodes I ever made. So, yeah. Very well done. Alrighty guys, we are on season 5. Now, season 5 only had 5 episodes, just like season 1. But the thing that was different about season 5, it was all just a story arc, really. Like, it was basically about Cheta and Evil Cheta. And the reason why it was so short, it was because we were saving ideas for the Life of Awesome movie. And... Yeah, that's why we didn't. That's why it, it was so short because we didn't want to use the ideas we have for the movie to make other episodes. So instead, we cut down the season to be more shorter to save ideas for the movie. And I did honestly this season. I kind of thought I did an okay job. Like I feel like some episodes could have been better. Like the talk one could have more music. And actually, let's talk about that real quick because I gotta show you guys something. So in this scene, an episode called The Talk, Evil Cheta shoots Cheta with a gun, aka a Nerf gun. But the thing is, when he shoots him with the gun, it was just like no gun effect or anything. And originally, this scene was supposed to have a gun effect, but at the time, it wasn't working, and it was going to be out on the day that I announced it. I didn't want to be like a day later or something like that. So I kind of had like I kind of had like I'm oh, sorry. I kind of had to rush things, and I couldn't edit them in time. But after this episode, I worked on the gun effect more, and I actually got it to work. But sadly, it didn't make it in the final cut of the episode. So, yeah, that's why there's no gun effect in the scene. But either way, I kind of find it funny how he didn't really shoot anything, but he did. So anyway, it kind of works. But originally, there was supposed to be a gun effect in this scene, but it never happened. Alright guys, we got the Life of Awesome movie. This came out on the very first day of 2018. So January 1st. And I made this movie during Christmas break. And this film has at least 81 viewers. And the movie is only 34 minutes long. And the movie was actually pretty well done. It wasn't that bad. It was... Actually, was pretty good, but I thought I felt like I could have done more with the film and made it longer, definitely. But this is all I had, and I was in a rush to get it out on the first day of January 2018. Hang on, focus there. There we go. So I had at least two weeks to make this film, and it was actually pretty worth it. I mean, I had fun making this film, and you no, know, it was pretty good. The fight scene at the end with Cheta fighting evil Cheta in the snow was pretty good too. And yeah. Another thing I want to mention about the movie is that there was a scene where evil Cheta shoots powers from his eye patch. And you can see on the corner that there's a thumbnail for the app I use. See right there? That was not supposed to be there. That was a mistake. But I kind of went with it. Because, you know, it was kind of funny just to notice, like, hey, you made a mistake. Or, hey, there was a thumbnail when you did that. But really, that was not my intention to do that. That was kind of a mistake. I didn't know it was there until I watched the film when it was uploaded. But it's kind of too late now, and I had to live with it. But either way, the movie was still great. And, yeah.
Now, guys, I want to say one more thing before we go on to season six and before we're done talking about the movie was that I forgot to mention this and I forgot to add this into the playlist for season five. But the episode called um, Merry Merry Christmas was season five finale. And this was a big episode because it was the first episode to introduce musical into the whole series. And the movie caught on with that right after this episode. And this this actually one of the most viewed episodes we have in the series so far. Because this episode has over 174 viewers. And a lot of people went crazy because I sang a song in this one. And it was the first time I did a song. And the first time it had a musical in the whole entire series. And everybody loved it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was pretty awesome. And this episode was just... A Christmas special, but it was also season five. I'm sorry, it was also the finale for season five. And after that came the movie, and the movie has some musicals in it too, but it was kind of the last uh, time he used musicals for a while until season nine came to place. So, yeah. Alright, guys, we're on season six right now. This takes place right after the movie, and in this season, Evil Chita was dead for a while, but until the season finale, which was the very big episode of the whole series, and that was uh, episode 60, Last Days of School. The reason why it was so big was because it was an hour long, and basically it was like the countdown to the last days of school, and yeah, pretty much, really, the title just says it all, really. At the end of the episode, which... I want to talk about this real quick. Let's go to the ending here. So in this scene, this was a friend of mine who I asked him to film a scene with me while I played Evil Cheta and he just played some kind of random dude. In this scene, Evil Cheta was talking to him because he wanted to, like, he was trying to hire, like, a man to kill Cheta because he killed him. Well, sort of. But so he calls him gay and... Evil Cheta gets mad at him and he just randomly shoots him. And he did a pretty good job acting actually. I really do appreciate his services and what he did. And he didn't have to do that, but he did anyway. He's a pretty good dude. And this scene took like uh like only like twenty minutes to film. I know, you know, it took twenty minutes to plan. Now, if you notice on this episode, this episode is 1 hour and 6 minutes, while the movie is only 34 minutes long. So that means this is actually longer than the movie itself, which is pretty surprising because this took a whole month to make. And the movie only took like 2 month. I mean, I'm sorry, 2 weeks to make, so this makes it longer than the movie, which I'm surprised by that. But this episode I had a lot of fun with. I got the film with a bunch of friends and... My last day of school there. And everyone thought this was the last episode of the whole series. I kept telling them that it was not the last episode. But rather a big episode in the season 6 finale. But everyone thought this was the last episode. Because it was an hour long. And it was a big one. I will say that season 6. Was the most popular season we had. Because each episode was pretty much about. Me. My life in school. And new friends and people, new faces. And season 6 was a very popular season. And it kind of is the reason why my channel is so popular. Was because it focused more on my life in school. And other shit. So season 6 kind of made what the show and the series is today. So yeah. We gotta thank season 6 for that. Because season 6 was the most successful season we had. And everybody loved episodes in season 6. So it was a pretty good season we had. Alright, so season 7. Let's talk about this one. This season only had 5 episodes. That was because it was kind of in a rush because I was moving out and so I wanted to like film the last episodes in my location before I moved out. And the thing that this season had was death. And I want to talk about that for a minute. Now, I mentioned and I announced... To everyone that there was going to be a deaf character, well, I'm sorry, a deaf scene happening in the season. And originally it was me, yeah, I died, but then it came back to life. But originally the plan was to have me killed off by Evil Cheta, 
But then the idea was changed to have the character Luis get killed off, which he is this guy right here. Let's take a look at Luis real quick. Fucking love Luis. As you can see, Luis is this kid right here. He has red hair. He didn't have it before, but it's new. But yeah, you gotta see him. He's just doing his little dance moves. He just fucking love Luis. Anyway, this guy was supposed to die in the season finale, but we had some problems and some schedule trouble. So things had to change. I'm sorry. Things had changed since then, and I had to. Just go back to my original idea and just kill me off. And to me, I kind of felt like it was stupid. And like, because really, I'm just killing myself off and just playing the other version of myself. And I could have had Luis killed off and could have had a whole story arc where I went after Evil Cheta. And I felt like the death of me was kind of stupid. But I made it happen in a way I had to do it. And it kind of brought up a new story arc, which we'll talk about in Season 8. Now, Season 8 was kind of different. It focused on Evil Cheta, which takes place right after Season 7, where Evil Cheta killed Cheta. And throughout the whole season, Evil Cheta encounters a spirit, which is this guy right here. Watch the end. I'm sorry, I gotta explain it more. So, Evil Cheta is now in a new place, which is where I moved. He's in a new house, a new place new area and he moved basically and basically is living Cheta's life and so we see him that he brought the dummy that was in the movie and he basically said that I found this guy with his head off but I fixed it and that was a reference to the movie and in this scene we have a type of spirit person which he's supposed to be some kind of spirit I didn't mention that well but well, he kind of says it anyway, but anyway, this entity, or spirit, whatever you want to call him, possesses the doll, and now lives as doll. But it's not the same doll as, like, in the movie, because in the movie, the doll is alive by itself, but now it's dead, so he just basically possessed a dead body, and now it's taking over that doll. And this guy is called the Overlord. I played him, and he's not done yet. Like, he got killed off in Season 8. Which was, which I'm sorry, which was the finale, but he will be coming back, which he already did, as you guys probably saw the recent episode. But, um, yeah, this guy has a lot of story to him. I feel like the villain I made, Overlord, was okay, but I don't think it was necessary. But it does add some comedy to the series that, no, like, there's a dummy in the series now, it's like a talking, living dummy, or a spirit possessing. I'm sorry, a spirit possessing a dummy. And yeah, like throughout the series, we get Evil Cheta's life, the dummy, which they both become kind of friends. And in the season 8 finale, Evil Cheta brought Cheta to life was because he wanted to redeem himself and that he felt bad. And basically, his ways of evil were changed. So yeah. Alrighty guys, we're on Season 9, so let's continue. Season 9 takes place after Season 8, and this story, I mean, I'm sorry, this season has actually an interesting story arc. After Season 8, we found out that Cheta, when he was dead, he found the answer to life, and that he found out that there is a sheep person that's been watching his life, and he tells Evil Cheta that it's a, the sheep person is named Stephanie, and... Her sidekick is Brendan, but we're going to see the answers to that later. And so Evil Cheta goes out to find out who the sheep person is. And before he leaves, Cheta gives uh, Evil Cheta a name, which is Connor. As you guys can see up here, this is the premiere. It's called Connor because that's Evil Cheta's new name. But Evil Cheta still works. Doesn't matter. It's original, so we can stick with that. And... Yeah, throughout the season, Cheta has been trying to find out who the sheep person is, but so far no answers yet, and Evil Cheta has actually I came across his old school and his area where he used to live in, but unfortunately he gets bitten by a snake 
in episode 88 called Bitten. And we do not know if he's alive or dead. We don't know yet. And so right now we're on episode 97, which we're close. We are close to episode 100. I'm sorry, 100. And so many exciting. Originally, episode 100 was supposed to be released today on the two-year anniversary, but we didn't have time to finish it, and we are still working on it. So, yeah, we still have to work on that. But we're doing everything we can to make it a very good episode. And we plan to reveal the she-villain sometime. But it's going to be in a way you guys probably won't think it'll be done. Like, she's going to be kind of revealed in a different way. And we'll explain the reasons why she was revealed in this type of way. But it's going to be kind of like a way you guys won't really expect it. So, yeah. Alright guys, so this is the very first episode of the whole series. Pause. There we go. So as you guys can see, the title, The Life of Titan, was the original title for the whole series. But I changed it. Because when I, when I typed it in the search bar, it just came up Titan from the anime series. Like Attack on Titan. And so I thought, like I wanted the title where... It can be found and that it was original. So, the first one was The Life of Titan. The second one was Jackass Show, but of course, I changed that and decided to make that to my channel's name. And then I thought of my original title and then came The Life of Awesome Show. So, yeah, but you will see this title in some old episodes because this was the original title and original name for the whole series. If you guys pay attention to the old episodes, you notice that I change a lot, and I look younger in episodes. Like I, I'm more, I have more like a fat face in old episodes, but in the newer ones now, I change and have more like a sexy face, and that's how much I've grown over the years, well, two years of the show, and yeah, so I'm changing every day, looking sexy as ever. So I didn't explain this very well when I first said it, but I'm going to say it again. Um, season 5 had a good story arc. The story arc was that Evil Chita came back to life right after the season 6 finale, which was this episode. But he, he was out for revenge because apparently in his universe, back in season 3 when the monsters were ruining the earth, the monsters somehow got in his universe and basically killed his sister. And he was out for revenge because Chita cause that but he kind of didn't if you guys pay attention but yeah that what made that's what made evil cheta wanted to kill cheta in the first place but then he realized that it was a mistake and that he 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 changed he changed so yeah there's your story arc for season was that five no six or no that was seven yeah that was season seven my bad my bad When I fell down, I actually really damaged my elbow. Like, I got a huge cut on my elbow, and it hurt like a bitch. So, yeah, but it was worth it. So, shit, sorry. So this episode called The Tales of Origins of Ancestral Sauce. This was actually was the prequel episode to, oh, uh, well, half of it is prequel episode to the episode where Eva Chita first came in, which is episode 26. Evil Brother. Now, the black and white scenes are Evil Cheetah's scenes, and they're from the past. The ones that are not black and white are from the present. And I thought I could make an origin story with Evil Cheetah, but at the same time have a story that takes place in the present. And the present is the present where Evil Cheetah got killed by Cheetah, and this was when he was alive and in his universe, and he came into Cheetah's universe, and Cheetah bombed out the life, which bought the episode. 26, Evil Brother. In this episode, it shows that Evil Chita killed Scott Malkison. He was trying to destroy his universe, which was actually shown in this movie. And he came to my universe, and I found him and bombed alive, which you see the rest of it in episode 26. So yeah, this episode was half uh, about Evil Chita's origins and half about me finding Sesame Sauce. So it's half and half, if you, if you know what I'm saying. 
So in episode Merry Merry Christmas, which was season 5 finale, I sang a song that was a parody of Santa Tell Me. And this was kind of hard to do because what I did was that I recorded the audio of me singing the song. Then I had like recorded scenes of me lip syncing. But I had like, I had, like recorded so many times that actually like, matched the words. And I did a pretty good job. It looks realistic, but it, it took a while to make. It was hard, but it was all worth it. And this was the big hit. This was the big thing about this episode, was that I sang the song, and this was the first time the show actually introduced musical, so it was pretty big. Everybody loved it. So this episode called The Return, the season 4 finale, which The Return was hinting to Evil Cheetah's return after he was first introduced in episode 26, Evil Brother. So this episode is actually the most and the top the top out of all of them to be viewed like this is actually the most viewed episode out of the whole series it has 286 views and it was because evil chita was imposing as me and he was doing a q a questions and saying a bunch of shit about people at my school and everybody loved it and it's actually the most it's actually the first episode they watched when they showed somebody so this is actually the, the most viewed episode of the whole series surprisingly and I don't know why it was so good I guess I did a good job like like saying shit to people which I didn't mean to I was just saying it as a joke they knew, they knew it was a joke but I feel I feel kind of bad about it honestly but if they loved it if they knew it was a joke it's all good so in this episode called Rememory I did a scene where the doll was basically having sex with Tiffany doll and he comes all over the place. What I did was I used silly string and had to hold him and the bathroom was actually was a mess. Like I was kinda scared of my mom coming back and seeing this, but it's a good thing I cleaned it up in time so she didn't see it. But it was a mess in that bathroom and when I did that. But it was worth it and actually, and actually was pretty funny. And yeah. Alright guys, so in this episode we filmed like a we filmed in like an apartment setting and it was supposed to be like a horror episode where we were being chased some kind of killer in a mask and there was actually a different version for this episode. We had one where we did a horror version where we were being chased by a guy in a mask which is this version that got released but there was also another version where we had well, we were hanging out with this kid and he was going to be the mask killer and basically fuck around with us. While he was wearing a mask, but that version they got released because it didn't seem that funny, so we decided to make it, make it more funnier and just have a random person come out of nowhere and chase us and basically try to kill us. But we'll show you a little bit of that version right now. What is that? Oh my god. It what? Like yeah. Almost hit him. No, 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 no. I tried one, two, three. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do one more time, guys. Just for some fucking luck. Three times a charm. Two, one. Smash it. 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 Smash that a clown just crawl out of that yeah, clown jacking off. <laughs> what makes you think you see a clown <laughs> jacking off? It's like, yeah! <laughs> Little kids get this? returned on! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he has like a white penis. It's like, dude, you <laughs> climbed in a white penis. Oh, wait, so what are we gonna do? There's a clown on there. Wait, Let's check go. in the sewer! The sewer. Oh, That's where the sounds going. Oh. Let's go, sewers. Let's go. Check in the sewers. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to we can do this. No, no, no. I'm gonna check in the sewers. What if there's snakes in there? I love snakes. I'll, I'll get them. They're gonna fucking bite you. Don't worry. I deal with snakes all the time. I deal with a bunch, bunch of bull snakes and me and Scott Malcolm are fishing. Stop. There's a clown in there. Yeah, dude. We, we heard something. We heard something in the woods. Yeah. Are you gonna go in there? Well, only if he goes in there. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll get released for us. They like him better. 
Luis, we gotta get we that. We need the Republic! We challenge all you niggas. Dude, I'm getting mud all over my LeBron. I'm getting shit on my shoes. Look at me. We declare war! It's like you see all kinds of clowns raging. Oh, yeah. They're in one for the hills. They're in one for the hills. Plenty of weapons. Why don't we just go get some piece of shit? I'll just go smoke. Why don't you just go get your freaking fucking pickaxe? Because you're the one Alrighty guys, we we are doing pretty good so far. I'm sorry, we're doing pretty damn good so far. So I got a little treat for you guys. So while I was filming some episodes, I managed to keep some of the mistakes I made and basically I have some bloopers for you. But also have some behind the scenes of some of those episodes that I made. Like there's some from the episode called For Memory, which was the one where the dummy was fucking the doll and he came over my door. And have some other ones that I believe was from other episodes, I don't know yet. Which I'll explain why I didn't use those and why they were cut out. Because some of those I cut out for a reason. Which Some of those were mistakes, yeah, but some of them were actually were pretty good, but I cut out for a reason. So let's take a look at these bloopers and mistakes and all this other good shit, shall we? So I just finished filming the episode where the, the dummy had sex with the doll and boy, look at this. Look at this right here. <laughs> it's all over the place, man. It's all over the place. Look at this. This is what I use right here. This shit. It's almost empty actually. Look at the door too. Look at the door. I was going all out just to make it funny. And my mom's not home so better clean this up before she gets here. God, it's all over the floor too. This is lappy. After having come so much, <laughs> it's all over the door. Good thing this stuff's not that sticky on walls. You can get this off easily. Oh God, it's wet. Ew. <laughs> it's all over the floor, man. It actually, this actually would be kind of like a sex scene in an actual movie, but real, you know, cum. This is just silly string meant to be the dummies cum. I don't like saying that. I'm gonna stop saying that. It just sounds weird. Oh, it's over my shoe and everything. I don't think there's none on Tiffany. There is some on the mirror still. I'm gonna, gonna get that all off from my mom gets here. Because she's gonna freak if she sees this. It's almost gone actually, so I shouldn't worry that much. I just gotta fix this place up. There's one little spot up there. <laughs> there's one little spot up there. Oh, the 
doors, man. I'll open the door. I'll open the door, man. It's all over the fucking door. I gotta say, filming this episode was actually pretty fun. Like, I thought about doing a flashback scene just for random reasons, though, and putting it in this episode, and it worked out pretty good. A lot more than I expected. And it was a good time, too, because nobody was home, so I thought I could do it. But I gotta fix this place up before someone, someone does get home. And it shouldn't take me that long. It's almost clean. And yeah, there's your behind the scenes of the episode. What is up, my niggas? Yeah, I haven't said it in a long time, but... Yo, what's up, guys? You are here on the cooking show today. I'm here with my bitch, Slappy, and... Oh, wait, shut shit. So, we just saw that in that one scene where I said... I'm here with my bitch Slappy and what is up my niggas. The reason why I cut those out was because that was during the time where I was playing Evil Cheta and that was when Cheta was dead and basically Cheta was ruining the show and he couldn't say what is up my niggas because that was Cheta's line, not Evil Cheta's line. And he never once said that. And I cut out the thing where he said, I'm here with my, I'm here with my bitch Slappy because that just sounded kind of weird. So... Yeah, that's the reason why I cut those two scenes out and didn't use them. So if you were to ask me, is the show real or is it fake? It's kind of both. Like, I do vlogs. I do sometimes fictional episodes. I do story arcs. So in a way, it's kind of both. It's a mixture of both. And that's what I like about the show is that it's a mixture of both real and fake. Like, even the vlogs and all that good shit still have something to connect the story. So, yeah, I, I mostly do, like, villains creatures all the good shit sometimes or some kind of other story arc that will work i like doing that and as we know we're going to have an upcoming villain that's going to be showing up soon which she will be a pretty big one we're still in the works of the 100th episode as of right now but we're trying our best to make it a pretty damn good episode and i gotta say guys the series has been through a lot and i just want to say thank you all because honestly like when i was posting the episodes Nobody didn't really watch them, nobody didn't really care, but then it got popular at my high school and other high schools that I've been through, or been to, I'm sorry. And so I just want to say thank you all. This all couldn't happen because of you guys. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have canceled the show like a while back, or probably just wouldn't post as much, or thought of these cool ideas and all. And you guys mean a lot to me, and like, like I always say to my people that anyone can be on the show, it doesn't matter. Like, if you guys are a fan, or you guys want to just be in an episode, or just a video, you guys can always come hit me up, because I'm always letting people on the show, it doesn't matter. And I've been through a lot in the show as well, like, it changed me in some ways, and I appreciate the show. Like, I'm into Atlanta, I got the film there, I made a fictional character, made some story arcs here and there, and I I'm in love with the show, really am. I'm proud to have me in that show, and have these people be on the show, and help create these storylines and all the good shit. So it's a pretty big deal. I mean, it may not be popular worldwide, but at least it's popular like in high schools that I've been through in my area. And maybe someday it'll be popular, like really, really, really popular. I don't know, you never know. But I just wanna say thank you all. And this was, for your, this was your special for the behind the scenes of the Life Awesome show, what it's been through each season, the bloopers on good shit. And it's all couldn't happen about you guys so i just want to say thank you all and this does not count as an episode this is just i'm sorry this does not does not count as an episode this is just a special i'm so sorry i get sometimes tongue-tied a few times which is annoying but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the special more episodes are on the way actually when we have like three episodes this season because the 100th episode is going to be a season 9 finale and we're still working on that so Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Thank you guys so much. And like always, stay tuned for more.